Hello dear friends, today we have something special for you. Have you heard about Docker? It is a software which allows running independent containers within a single Linux instance, avoiding the overhead of starting and maintaining virtual machines. Containers are focused on one single application, so everything that you package inside of an image and everything you get to run inside of a container is destined just to provide the bare minimum necessary resources, libraries and dependencies for that specific app. And this is why Docker is sometimes considered a technology for packaging applications. You may wonder how difficult it was to get Docker running on Tachium. Well, Docker is written in Go language which was designed to improve programming productivity in an era of multi-core and network machines. Our compiler team had to port Golang's compiler, assembler and linker for our architecture. We have to modify even our toolchain to produce binaries compatible with Golang's external linker. And since Go is highly multi-threading, Debugging was painfully difficult, but you know what? We made it, as you will see shortly. Virtualization tools such as VirtualBox produce huge images because they contain full copy of the operating system. In Docker, each unit of execution is called a container and they share the kernel of the host OS that runs Linux. Contrary to VMs, Docker containers are lightweight and they take advantage of Linux features like change root, C groups and namespaces for resource isolation, and layered file system for keeping the containers small. This helps to run many Docker containers instead of only a few virtual machines through hypervisor, which requires a lot of resources. In this video, we will demonstrate how to build a simple Docker container with PostgreSQL database. As soon we have the container ready, we can run it locally or deploy it to the cloud. Amazon ECS, Stackpad, Google Cloud Run, Microsoft Azure, you name it. Now let's switch to vast emptiness of the Linux terminal. Here we have two windows, both are connected to Tachium Linux over SSH. The one in background will help us to see what is going on in the file system and the top one we will use for creating our Docker container. At first we will log in into our Docker registry. Let's verify if there are any top level images already. Nothing, this installation is perfectly clean. Now we are downloading top level image. This will take some time to download and decompress it. Nice! Let's run it and see if it has PostgreSQL installed so we could create some database. No luck today, we need to create a so-called docker file, which defines what layers or what software components we will need for our container. We will begin with the same image, then create additional layer, where we will get the list of available packages and quietly install PostgreSQL database. CMD command should point to the service which we want to keep running and expose to the outside world. For now we will just stick to plain shell. If there is no typo in our docker file, try building it and give it the name docker underscore postgres. If you watch closely, you will see which commands are executed within the container right now. And seems we are ready. Let's run it in interactive mode, but this one with slight change. We will map a folder where the database will be stored within the container into our file system. PostgreSQL is installed, we are ready to start using it, so create a database at first. In the background window you could see how the log file is growing, so the mapping works nicely. Let's start the PostgreSQL server under the user Postgres and point it to the mapped folder. Before we start typing our SQL commands, we need to log in. Now travel back in time to your early days of IT career and first failed SQL queries. Oh, sweet memories. This table will have three columns. Name, age and address. Let's insert something there and check if this freshly created table exists.
Nice. Now exit to the Linux shell. Backslash Q to exit the SQL shell, exit to switch to root and finally exit to leave and terminate the container. Let's see what the database created in our mapped folder. Hmm, looks good. We will repeat all steps again. Run docker interactively, map the database folder, switch user, start database service on default port 5432, login into SQL shell. We want to verify persistence of database content. We should see all of the data we entered in previous steps here. If everything works as expected, we could change the docker file to switch the user and run a pg underscore ctrl to run the service and let the docker expose the port 5432 with running database so we could connect to it from the host OS. After these steps, we can push our container to the registry so other colleagues can start using it or we can deploy it to the local server or cloud. And this is all. We demonstrated not only the docker, which became the industry standard for deploying server applications that run seamlessly in our architecture, but we have also shown that we have full support for applications written in Go language. Thank you for watching.